Welcome back to the Alabama Nature Center's Early Explorer Show. Today we're going to learn about butterflies and I have some very special guests here today. My grandson Fisher and my granddaughter Bailey Ann. They are going to help with this. Raise your hand if you like butterflies. I hope you're raising your hand back at your house and I hope your mother has the special supplies to make a secret rock garden for butterflies today because we're going to see some butterflies, we're going to see a real caterpillar, and we are going to make a special drinking garden for butterflies and bees so they won't drown. First of all, we want to have a look at some of the beautiful butterflies in Alabama. These really large butterflies up here are called tiger swallowtail butterflies. They are our state of Alabama butterfly. And then we have a gulf fritillary. That orange one here is a gulf fritillary. And I have a real caterpillar from the Gulf Fritillary, and I'm gonna show it to you because it loves to grow on that passion vine right by Bailey Ann. Look at that passion vine over there for us. And it loves to grow and eat those leaves. I wonder if he's hiding from us. Look at here. He's on one of those leaves. He's super cool. And I'm gonna put him down and see if we can get as close as possible to this really cool Gulf Fritillary Caterpillar. And so they are very, very hungry. Fisher has a pretend caterpillar in his hand. Or now it's on his shoulder. Look at that. I bet you have read the book, The Hungry, Hungry Caterpillar. That's a pretend caterpillar, but boys and girls, this is a real caterpillar. Now we all should learn this. Fisher is holding something in his hand. What is that, Fisher? It's an egg. It's an egg. Most everything that is living begins its life as an egg. We even began as eggs in our mama's tummy, and you began as an egg in your mother's tummy. Well, a butterfly has an egg that he puts, she puts on a leaf. See if we can get a close up of this. It lays a little bitty circle, like a pearl, and then the caterpillars hatch out and look at the leaf. It's being eaten. It's being chewed on and eaten. That is the food for the caterpillar. Now we have a caterpillar here in Bailey Ann's hand. And so it goes from an egg to a caterpillar and then it eats and eats and eats. And it eventually gets so big and so full and so ready to turn into something new that it makes itself with its body, it makes a cocoon. A cocoon is where it stays inside and it transform, it changes from a caterpillar to what does it turn into, boys and girls? Do you know the next step? It turns into a lovely, lovely butterfly. But look at its wings. They're just saggy down because when they first hatch out, these are very wet. But then once they dry, they fly. Very good, Bailey Ann. Thank you. So I want to show you a real, let's see if we've got it. Uh, we need our cocoon. Can somebody find our cocoon very quickly? I'm sorry, Miss Susan had to get this. This is a cocoon from a Luna moth. Not a butterfly, but a moth. And this cocoon, a Luna moth has come out of. Alrighty, so here we have some beautiful monarch butterflies. 
Let's get some close-ups of him. Bailey Ann, can you hold this one from for me and show the antenna? We want to look at the antenna on the butterfly. The little okay. black antenna. And butterflies can even taste with their feet. And they have a long like drinking straw thing that comes out of their mouth to help them drink. And we not only know that they come out of a cocoon and they fly and they have antenna, and they have a head and they have a body, but also they need to drink water just like you need to drink water. So we, for your craft today, hopefully your mom has already gotten the things that Fisher's going to talk about here to make a very special rock garden for butterflies. So, hi, my name is Fisher, and I'll be showing you how to make your um, little water garden for your butterflies at home. What you're going to need is a tray like this, some rocks, and some water. So what you're going to want to do is take your tray and spread some rocks around in it. And if you want to help me, put some rocks in it. Um, you'll put these in it so they don't drown. Just so they don't just go into the water and they don't drown. So once you have rocks spread out in it, you're going to want to take the water and you're just going to want to pour it in. Nice. So now you have... Now the butterflies can just drink out of they this They can land on the rocks and they can drink without sinking. Yes, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alrighty. Now we need to talk a little bit about a butterfly net. You can get these at the Dollar General for a dollar. They're pretty cheap. And we've got a pretend butterfly. So let's pretend that you are a fisher and you're trying to catch a butterfly. And once you've caught that butterfly, its wings are so very sensitive and so very, it, you would hurt it if you mess with its wings. So you need to get you one of these, a live butterfly garden. And that just, once you have your butterfly caught, here you go, Bailey Ann. Show them how to do it. You put your live butterfly into there. You zip it up. And then you can get up close, really close, and look at it. Okay. All righty, boys and girls. So look down at Miss Susan's butterfly rock garden right now. Miss And Mr. Lindell, there's a, there's a bug landing on it to drink water already. You see, not only butterflies use it, but also dragonflies and bees and wasps. And we can't that wasp up here, but it sure did. Nature called it up just for us today so we could see the rock garden in action in Miss Susan's butterfly garden with her butterfly bush and her passion vine and her aster flowers and her milkweed and just perfect for butterflies. Okay boys and girls, we're going to end right now with the butterfly story. So come this way and we're going to read the story about the butterfly. The butterfly, there it is. At the end of the garden, there's a little stripy caterpillar. What do you think it's been doing all day? First, it ate up the leaf it was sitting on. See that, chomp, chomp, chomp. And when that was gone, it started munching on the next leaf. Very hungry. There are lots of other hungry caterpillars too. There's a teeny tiny green one. There's a very chubby yellow one. And look over here, there's a soft hairy white one and a big 
fat, fuzzy one. All of them are eating as fast as they can shoot. There's a little stripy caterpillar. It's not so little now, but it keeps on eating. Oh no, look boys and girls, it's gotten too fat for its skin. What in the world is it gonna do? It shrugs off its skin just like an old coat. And then it's bigger and it starts eating more. That is really cool in nature. One day, the caterpillar stops eating. Perhaps it's cause it's got a full tummy. It curls up under a leaf and falls asleep. Slowly, its skin becomes a shiny case. So this isn't a leaf, boys and girls, that he's curled up in. This is his skin. And it hangs there quietly, not moving at all. Just like Bailey Ann showed you her chrysalis or cocoon. All at once, it starts to wriggle. It wriggles and wriggles until the case splits open and it inches its way out. See right there? That's what he uses to drink. It's a, like a drinking tongue. He just rolls it out. The stripy caterpillar has become a beautiful butterfly. It stretches out its bright new wings in the warm sunshine because the wings have to dry. The butterfly flutters from flower to flower, sipping sweet nectar from every flower. And at night, have you ever wondered where butterflies went to sleep? At night, it folds its dainty wings and settles down to sleep. It looks like it's fallen asleep under what would you say, kids? A leaf. Yes, a leaf. That's a cool, safe place to sleep. When it's time, the butterfly carefully lays some eggs. Each one is like a tiny pearl. I love that. That looks so cool. A few days later, a little stripy caterpillar pops out of each egg and they are all very, very hungry. hungry. Can you guess what happens next? Munch, 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 munch. Thank you so much, boys and girls. See you next month. Bye. Bye.